everyone, welcome back to the Block, Block Island, Island Crew. Crew. In this video, I have my mom and my aunt Kathy. Who Hi. Today we're going to do something with all the leftovers that I know you all have in your refrigerator from Thanksgiving. So today we're going to make soup with the turkey leftovers. Yes, we are. We have all kinds of leftovers. <laughs> And everything's all cooked, so it just really has to be assembled and put together in the pot. The only thing we do have to cook will be the noodles. So we're going to put some water on. While we're putting all this together, we're going to boil the noodles. And then by the time I'm done with that, the noodles will be finished too. And we can just kind of put it all together. It makes the next day so much easier. Because we're just like, okay, we cooked all day yesterday. We already did that. So we don't want to do it again. We are got some gravy, everything in. Got some turkey. whatever you have. Even if you have cranberry sauce, you can throw that in too. It doesn't matter. It's all good. We need to make a little broth to go with this, and we'll put some water. Oh, watch out! She's some. I'm gonna throw in some bouillon cubes just to give it a little bit of flavor. Because otherwise, it won't be soup. It'll just be way too thick. And we don't want to make it too salty, so we're gonna put in maybe. You can always add more, but you can't take it out. That's what it comes down to. Mm -hmm. So we are gonna put in, I'm gonna go with four bouillons. I think that would be funny. And like I said, we can always add more. It doesn't really matter. With, with cooking, I mean, just have fun with it. Get corn, sweet potatoes, potatoes, stuffing, and stuffing. Just all leftover stuff from yesterday. We have some leftover green bean casserole. Yeah. Somebody hit my carrots pretty hard. Um, I, <laughs> I think that I was you last night. I think it was. You know what I do? Sometimes I get up in the middle of the night and I'm not even aware of it. And uh, I'll go down to the refrigerator and pick. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll pick. I call it grazing, but. <laughs> and then I get up in the morning and I don't know, I got something like stuck in my face or <laughs> I find the dirty dish and it's like, oh yeah. Yeah, that was me. So uh, I probably did that. But anyway, we still have three carrots, so that'll work. Well, I'll tell you, it really is true. A boiling pot never boils. That's not right. A watch pot never boils. A watch pot. It doesn't. <laughs> okay, now we're just going to kind of, uh, oh, almost there. We're going to let these uh, bouillons dissolve, and then we can start um, putting all this stuff together. And we're back. We have our noodles done over here and now we're going to put this bad boy together. We had our um, water with the bouillon and we're going to throw in some stuffing. I know it doesn't sound good but it's going to be yummy and again just whatever you happen to have left over. We're going to put this potato, hopes, hopes and, dreams. and dreams. You put all that stuff together because you always need hopes and dreams. Are you kidding me? And some sweet potato. What do we got over there? Get some gravy. Okay, we're gonna toss that gravy in. Gravy. Boom. Look at that. It's just gonna give it all that flavor. And it's just like Thanksgiving in a bowl. Um, you wanna cut the carrots with a knife? Thank you. Good job. Okay. okay. Now, well, I told you somebody raided the fridge last <laughs> night. <laughs> I got nothing. Now you might, you know, it depends on the size of the soup that you're gonna put some green bean casserole. Oh, it's so good. Depends on how big a soup you're making as to how much of these leftovers you're gonna use. I'm not making a huge soup. Okay, we're gonna put in all the turkey. We'll do. Yeah. <sighs> Again, nice. you can always add another bouillon, add a bit more water, make the soup as big or as small as you want to. I can't cook. For just a couple of people, I don't know why. I always have to cook for 10 or 12. Probably well, because you do have to cook for that many. <laughs> yeah, I really usually do. Okay, now we put some noodles in. And this is, again, it's just so, so easy, especially after a hectic, crazy holiday. And you can do the same thing for Christmas. I mean, do a Christmas ham, or if you do another turkey, Again, all those left. Look at this soup. Oh my gosh. I don't. Look at this. Oh, it's oh, it's got everything in there and mm, just so good. Maybe do a little salad on the side, slice up some Italian bread or do some rolls. Oh, I have rolls too left. We don't want to throw those in the soup. 
but uh, just really easy. You saw how fast it was and very, very good. Everybody's gonna love it, I guarantee you that. I'm just gonna throw in a little bit of pepper, maybe just a little bit of salt, and then I'm thinking it will be good. And for cooking, I like the, the bigger pepper. We don't want to overdo it. People can always add more. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like. Comment if you'd like to because we like suggestions and good and bad comments. And if you really like it, I'll be more than happy to come back and I'll cook for you again. If we can get at least 50 likes on this video, she'll do another one. It'll be good. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.